Okay, so first of all, turn off the dynamic UCS, dynamic input F12. Okay, now second thing is uh, OP enter, display color, 2D background. We want to use the white color, 3D, uh, sorry, 2D background, black color, 3D background, white color. Apply. And second thing is OP enter, display color, 2D viewport control so these are the viewport control i want to use magenta and 3d viewport controls magenta apply ok f7 grid off f8 ortho on go to the workspace use the workspace 3d basics change the view top southwest conceptual Next thing is uh, OP enter, display font, use the font size 14, monospec and bold italic. Okay, so first thing is box, specify 3 point, select the box. Now if, if you can't see the quick properties, control shift P. So use control shift P and select Go to customize properties. quick properties. So click at here. Now if I will select I can change the parameters. Ten by ten by ten. You see a icon, no origin and enter. Second thing is cylinder. Specify first point. Okay, so to create a box you need to specify three points, select the box and change the parameters length 30 width 20 height set 10 now in cylinder you can specify you can input the parameters say cylinder specify base radius 10 now by default your cylinder will be drawn z axis if you want to change the axis click on axis and point so i want to go on x direction say length is 50 select the cylinder and you can also later on change the parameters, say radius and height. Le radius say 5, height say 30. Elliptical, so I want to yes, apply the yes. So I want to apply the elliptical so that Major radius uh, 5. So this is about the elliptical. Major radius and minor radius. So after cylinder, next is cone. S same as cylinder, specify center point, base radius say uh, 30. Now you can also specify the top radius in cone. So go to top radius, top radius 20, height say uh, 40. Select and you can change the parameters. Sphere, specify center point and radius. Radius is suppose 20. Now next is uh, shortcut of box is directly box. Cylinder is CYL. Cone, you do type C-O-N-E. Sphere, S-P-H. And shortcut of pyramid is P-Y-R. So click on pyramid. Now in pyramid you can specify the side. So number of sides say six so that uh, you can draw the hexagon specify base radius say 30 and uh, top radius say 20 so you will create a fresh term cone say axis end point or height say 40 got it which specify three point and change the length say 30 width 20 height 10 so this length is 30, width is 20 and this vertical height is 10. Now next is torus, T-U-R. Specify center point, base radius uh, 20 and tube radius 5. Select the torus and change the parameters. Torus radius, tube radius like that. Shortcut of wage is W-E. Pyramid PYR. 
now police solid so go to the police solid now in police solid uh, you can specify height width justify and object so i want to go to the height height set 10 width i want to specify 1 so as you can see i can draw the 3d wall with height 10 width 1 and to close the poly solid c enter and later on you can draw ds enter object snap select all turn off this option now later on you can draw this shape and say make it the press pull okay so this is about your poly solid now in police solid there is also another option so justify so if i'll be draw the line and make it the copy police solid justify the left side police solid justify the center side and police solid justify the right side now if i have a one 2d object say polygon number of side 10 this is my 2D object and I want to convert this into poly solid. So go to poly solid object select this object. Okay, so these are the creation 3D solid objects. Box, cylinder, cone, sphere, pyramid, wedge, torus and poly solid. Second is you can also create the helix. H-I-L-E-X. Helix. Now in helix command, you have to specify center point of the helix, base radius say 10, top radius say 20. And I will be click at anyone. Now you can also specify the axis and point to change the axis of the helix. So I want to specify the vertical. Now select the helix and you can change the parameters. So I want to use the height say 100. Second thing is change the number of turns 10. So as you can see, these other turns has been changed. Now base radius I want to use say 2. Top radius I want to use 5. And I want to use the direction of the helix, clockwise or anticlockwise. From the bottom as you can see, if I will be use say base radius 10. And if I will be use counterclockwise or clockwise. So this is my clockwise direction and this one is my counterclockwise. That means anticlockwise, reverse. So that is about your helix command. Shortcut of helix is HEL. Now next is extrude. So now extrude command will work for that you have to require one 2D object. So for that uh, if I will be draw one line. Right. So this is my shape of the line. Now I will be copy this object. Select right click and say copy. And now what I'll be do, I'll be make this object directly extrude. So it will be do the extrude as a hollow. Because of this is a line shape. Specify the height set 10. But here I will be make a region, REG. So it will be convert into 3D and then I will be make it the extrude. So it will be created as a 3D solid object. Next is revolve command. Shortcut of revolve is uh, shortcut of extrude is ext and revolve is rev. So now to use the revolve command, you need to draw the revolve axis and then you have to show one of the shape of the revolving. Say I want to revolve this rectangle. So revolve command select this object to be revolve enter this is my point and as you can see i can revolve so i want to revolve at a 360 degree and select this object as you can see angle of revolution is so 270 instead of rectangle if i will be choose the arc shape so revolve rev select this object specify two points right and in future if we select dark and change it so it will be automatically modified next is loft 
now to create the loft you need to specify the 2d objects so for that if i'll be uh, move this circle up top then select this one and make it the copy so i'll be use the loft command i want to start from this top and as i will select the object it will be automatically do the loft and what i can do i can select this loft object and later on i can change the parameters draft angle now in draft angle what is happening you can specify the angle similarly click at here and set draft angle So this is about your loft. Simple. Now next one is sweep. So to to use the sweep command, you need two objects. First is shape of the sweep, and second is path. Path of the sweep. Say I want to use the sweep command in polyline, and draw the small circle. and i will be copy this object two times and here draw a circle big one now sweep s w enter this is my object to sweep enter and this is my path sweep this is my object to sweep enter this is my path i want to move this object from center to center and make it the subtract as you enter this is my object to remain and this is the inside to remove enter right you can also use in helix command say h e l i x helix base radius say 20 top radius 20 number of turns say i want to use 10 and i want to draw instead of circle say polygon number of side 10 sweep s w enter this is my object to sweep this is my path right so we can create this type of shape Okay, next one is press pull. So for that, <laughs> you require one side object. and draw the line across the object now make it the press pull i want to press pull this area so i want to press pull up to you know specific distance if i'll be use plus it will be do the press and if i'll be use minus it will be do the pull press pull sorry <coughs> so you can specify positive or negative distance so what i will do i'll be cre create a one box Draw a circle, and I want to press pull, say up to minus five. And if I will use plus five, it will be pull. Next one is union, subtract, and intersection. Say box. Another say cylinder. So these are my two objects. Now what I will do? I'll be make a union. So these two objects are now combined. Use the undo shortcut of union is U N I subtract is S U intersection is I N so subtract 
I want to for subtract I will be make it the copy. Subtract select object to remain enter remove enter. Subtract select object to remain enter remove enter. And intersection. You this is the portion that is intersection in this two object. Right. Now next one is what we will do. We will go to the top southwest as well as next is planar surface command plane surf planar surface specify two point of the surface and later on you can make it the extrusion of this surface right so now in the planar surface command i want to apply the materials so to apply the materials you need to go realistic visual style now if you will go to the realistic visual style it will be displayed as a black because of right now we have not applied any kind of material so to apply the material you to open the realistic material browser for that type r mat in that uh, you have to filter your list and i will be click on home autodesk library so these are the there are different type of materials that is visible in this library so let's we go to the flooring and uh, you know i want to apply this flooring so you do just click and drag you do simply click and drag to apply the flooring material now if i'll be make it the box right and i want to apply some metallic paint right so this is my one of my metallic paint so i'll be go to the poly solid command and uh, i will be draw the poly solid with uh, height 10 and width 1 Now next one is what I will do. I will go to the Masonry Library, and uh, I will be click and drag this material. And flooring material, I will be make it. So this is my material, Masonry material, Masonry brick material apply to this object. Now if I want to change the scale, so for that you do use Material Map. material map is used to change the scale of the material apply on to object so material map enter in that you have to go to the box so if i'll be type material map and go to the box select this object enter now i have to change as you can see i can change the material in all direction length as well as in width as well as in height got it and if i want to make it the copy and i want to remove the material from this object so i want to use material assign so material assign is used to remove the material from the selected object So now I want to see this option. Uh, I want to see this object into realistic form. So I will be use double R render. So type double R enter. It render levels and with your render render objects. Right. So if I will be zoom it, zoom in, zoom out, double R. next one is if i want to apply the lights so i can type the command light light and go to keep turn on the light there are different type of lights so i want to use the web light and uh, specify point double enter 
so this is uh, my light that I have placed I will be copy this light to see the effects of light double R enter right. now the light intensity is too high so if I uh, so I will be select one light right click select similar it will be select select all of the light control one change the intensity in instead of for 1500 I want to apply set 200 and say use the render double R enter now if I want to apply light color so select the light and uh, use the lamp color filter color red double R so as you can see this side of the light display with the red color so I'll be close now I'll be select this light I want to apply the color yellow select apply the color blue select the light apply the color magenta and now if I will make it the render it will be display with the lighting effects red yellow blue and magenta so I will be select this lights and make it the copy always do the copy width turn on the ortho so that you can do the copy in one direction so I had placed too many lights now to see the effects zoom out as possible right so now in render if I 5 is the maximum level and if I want to save so I can just simply click at here save this image desktop PNG always use TIF TIF is a good format and make it the name specify the name 32 bit ok so now if I will go to desktop this is the image that we had saved recently so this is about your light and material topic so in material you must have to switch to the realistic visual style if I will go to the conceptual it will not display material effect right now after that if I want to delete all the lights select one light right click select similar select right click and say erase now there are different type of visual style hidden in hidden visual style you know the object is display like this realistic with materials shaded shaded with edges sketchy form wireframe x-ray so these are the different visual style now as you can see in x-ray we can also see the materials okay now next one is uh, if I'll be create one object use the visual style say conceptual so length is 60 width 40 height is 8 another box length is uh, 60 width 20 height is 30 and move this object length is 20 width is 20 height is 30 and now to combine uh, this objects union and draw the line passing through the objects and make it the press pull and click and drag this object now this is my one object that I had drawn in model I will be type UCS icon no origin so now I will go to the layout and remove this object remove the frame viewport frame as, I, as you can see if I will go to the layout this is my viewport frame 
So I'll be remove the viewport frame. Now, if I will go to the layout, that is also new tab is coming. That is layout. So in the layout, if I will go to the base and set from model space. Now, whenever you are doing the layout on first time, it will be take some time to load the layout, to regenerate the layout, and then it will be create the layout very fastly. So layout is nothing but it will be gives with the orthographic projection views of your created 3D model. So as you can see in my model, this is the object and this is my front view, this is my left view, this is my top view. So I will go to the layout, layout, base, from model space. Now from the orientation, I want to specify a front. So this is my front view. Okay, this one is my side view, this one is my top view. And this is about here my 3D and center. This is your uh, third angle projection method. So what you need to do, first of all go to the base from model space, orientation, front. Select the object, ok, and specify all the side. I want to specify, as you can see these are all my 3D views. So I want to apply 3D view on this direction. Select the 3D view, move this object. Select the 3D object, edit view, change the visual style, say shaded. Now from the layout, you can also do the creating sections, detailing, right? So I want to create a sections. So I want to create a section of this point. Turn on the ortho. So this is my section of this object. Section A A. And I, I can also, I can also change the scale. So select this section instead of one gem. Uh, 1 raised to 20, right? So I want to use 1 raised to 30. So as you can see, it will be uh, reduced the scale. This is my section A A. Similarly, I want to specify detailing. So I want to apply detailing. So on this portion, circular detailing, so up to this portion. And uh, I want to apply detailing at here, center. So this is my detailing of B. Mm -hmm. Now I can select this detailing and say change the scale, say 1 raised to 16. Now if I want to change the paper size, so right click uh, at layout, paste setup manager, modify and apply the paper size say A0. So this is my paper size, right, so you can also apply different paper size. Second thing is uh, I can specify dimension. Say I'll be use the paper size A3, paste setup manager, modify A3 landscape. Now next is I can specify dimension, simple. So DAL specify two point of dimension. Now D enter modify, I want to use the primary units one digit. D A L So to total height is thirty eight, this height is eight. Now next is uh, I want to plot this one into PDF. And now this is the live connection. So if I'll be go to the model and uh, create a one circle and make it the press pool so I have changed something so now if I go to layout as you can see it is automatically has been applied and now if I move this section set here so as you can see it is also display detailing in the section as well as detail so I will make it the press pool and fill this area so now if I go to layout Right, so it is automatically uh, applied. I can right click on layout, say paste setup, uh, sorry, plot. Continue the plot of single sheet. And I want to plot this layout, A3 size, DWG to PDF, preview. And say right click, plot, desktop. So this is my plot PDF, right? Second thing is, uh, in AutoCAD, you can also create your own view. You, you can also create your own custom view. Say I want to create my custom view. 
about this right i want to create my custom view from this view so this is my custom view so what i'll be do i'll be go to the custom view view manager and say create a new view i want to apply view name say ashish1 apply okay so now if i be go to the top view so this is my top view and go to the custom view ashish1 so that view has been default so you can use the view command by v enter and say ashish1 and say delete okay so go to the custom view there is no custom view view manager so you can create a custom view in model as well as in layout now if i will go to the sun setting sun status in sun status i can adjust the environment so this is my environment i can change the rotation of the sky sun exposure each and everything and now if i will make it the render so as you can see this is the effect if i will go to the shaded any one of the things sun background simple second thing is viewport creation so this is my one object conceptual right click at here parallel top southwest i can go to the viewports command i want to apply the four viewports so four viewport equal So now, as you can see, four viewport has been created. So at here, I want to use the top view. At here, I want to use front view. At here, I want to use side view, right view. This is my 3D view. Right. The so same thing is you can use in this viewport. viewport con configuration i want to use single so click at here so to apply a single viewport this is your material browser material texture on off now second thing is section plane so i want to use section plane and draw the section so this is my start point turn on the ortho this is my end point and press enter So as you can see, this is my section plane. Now, if I will select this section and move, as you can see, my object is also automatically change to match the orientation of this section. So, if I will select the section plane, this is my live section. If I will turn off the live section, the section effect, as I as you can see, I cannot see. I can you can also change the height rotation right rotate at 90 degree so now my section plane is horizontal slice right slice means you can also use the section plane at both side so i don't want to use side i want to use section plane and extract section section slice so select the section plane this is my height set tan okay so you can simply change all of these parameters to use the section plane so you need to use the section plane first of all specify the com uh, command draw the section starting point ending point press the enter twice select the section plane and click and drag to meet section plane right 